Hi guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. Um, it's Monday morning and it is... I can't read the clock backwards. 25 past 9 already and I'm still in my pyjamas with my lovely beard head. Um, so, this month I have decided to try, try as I always try, to get my life in a little bit of order. And I found this blog called, um, I think I found it on Facebook, called Living Well, Spending Less. And they've got a 31 day um, spend nothing challenge. So I thought it would be a good time to try and, I mean, we are pretty frugal anyway, but to try and get more organized with like meal planning and spending money on unnecessary crap that we just don't need. And with just trying to get like our house organized and you know, all those little mum things. Um, which sometimes are a bit boring, but are very necessary to have a smooth running home. So, um, I'll leave the link to it below, but yesterday was day one, so it was just like setting your ground rules. Basically, you're not allowed to buy anything that is not essential. Um, so I wrote down a list of things that I need to buy, like it's Dave's birthday this month, so I obviously need to get him a present. Um, the girl's going back to school, so I need to get him some school shoes and those kind of things. But like, um, and we've got a party to go to this weekend, but aside from that, no eating out of restaurants, no takeaways, um, no, like, unnecessary nipping into Asda and then spending a tenner on food and 20 on crap I just don't need. <laughs> so day two of the um, live well, spend less, spend no money challenge, <laughs> I'm going to find out what it's really called, um, is to sort out your pantry and then try and live off what you've got in your cupboards. I'm not really a stockpiler, but I am gonna um, have a look what we got and see what I can plan. But I'm also sorting out the dreaded pot cupboard. Does anybody else's pot cupboard look like that? Please tell me it does. Okay, so I have quickly just cleaned out the food cupboard um, and I actually found quite a lot of stuff in there that I could probably make meals out of. Um, I wanted to try this chicken enchilada wrap recipe that I saw on Kimmy's channel. She's in her apron. I'll leave the link to her channel below. She's lovely. I love it to bits. And she did a pinned it did it video, which I actually watched this morning. So I'm definitely going to give that a try. Um, and I've got, and it's a bit dark in the cupboard, but I've got loads. I think I've got two boxes of lasagna sheets. So lasagna is definitely going on the menu. And then I've also just watched... Um, Claire from the Wit family. She does a fantastic meals of the week vlog every week and they eat so healthy and so delicious. So I wrote down all the ingredients that she used and I'm going to try. I've actually got a few of the bits in the cupboard. Um, I need to just go and buy some fresh stuff and a little bit of meat and hopefully for the rest of the week we can eat out of the cupboard. It's going to be a challenge but I'm going to try my best. Um, I'm next. What am I doing next? Moving on to the freezer next. I also just quickly went through the little cupboard which has got all the baking stuff in. And I am terrible for just buying stuff when I think it's finished. Um, I, I mean, I do have a quick look in the cupboards before I go shopping, but oh, I'm obviously really crap at doing that. Um, so oh, I've got like loads of different packets of flour. There's more at the back there. There's about seven packets of flour. Loads of cupcake cases and sprinkles, which is fine. The kids always use those kind of things. I've got three bicarbs, <laughs> bicarb of soda. Ah, little fetish on the old bicarb there. Um, so there is enough sugar baking stuff type stuff. Okay, the freezer raid was actually more successful than I thought. I thought I had nothing in there. I really thought it was just bare, but I found a bag and a half of french fries, really unhealthy, but I give them to the kids for lunch. Um, and I found some breaded fish, oh no, they're battered, some vegetarian sausages, some mincemeat, I found two bags of vegetables and a little bit of spinach, I found a little bit of peas. later in the day now it's about half past five um, and I haven't filmed much today because I had my friend's little girl here for the day um, my friend's a nurse and she had to go to work so uh, we're trying to get through the last few days of the holidays we've been doing some kid swaps which works been actually worked out fabulous um, she was good as gold she's Shanna's age and they just played all day so um, I had to go and get like shoes for the girls for school 
we quickly nipped out and did that this afternoon. So now I'm busy making dinner. I'm making a cheese sauce um, to go on my lasagna. I actually decided to make chicken lasagna. I'm not sure if this morning when I was sorting out the food. Ooh. Um, I think I might have said I was doing a normal beef lasagna, but then he ended up eating the wraps for lunch. So we're having chicken lasagna. And I've got to do a bit of work tonight, so not very much help along. So for Monday night dinner, I've made chicken lasagna. And I know it doesn't look very thrilling, but I'm hoping it's going to taste good. I just baked some chicken in the oven and then I made a homemade cheese and garlic sauce. And then I mixed the chicken with a tub of salsa and some... Okay, so mom isn't feeling very well, so she just... Left. Me is looking beautiful. We've had dinner. We had lasagna. And do you like You're my chip close socks? Close up there, and you're all over the place. Do you like my chip socks? They have chips on them. <laughs> Hello. So it's Tuesday, and it's the day before Shanna goes back to school. Oh, Look no, at that no. happy little face. She's so excited <sighs> to go back to school. The other two nerds have still got another day off after that. So I'm going to bankrupt myself now and go and buy a school blazer. Um, two actually. No, one. Oh. And then we've got to go and pick up my mum's prescription and we've got to go food shopping. Woo -woo! I'm going to sneeze. up from all the stuff we did today and I found my super drug bag so I'm just going to quickly show you what I got like a mini haul here for you um <clears throat> excuse me so I've been watching lots of YouTube videos on how to apply foundation because my skin is really oily um excuse the lighting it's quite dark in here um and I think applying it like I always apply it with my fingers which is probably the biggest no-no ever so I thought I'd get one of these foundation brushes I know they're only the cheap range but I just thought I'd try them and see and then I got a powder brush um, and I bought an eyelash curler because one of my kids nicked mine and then I bought this um, CC cream for under my eye um, what is it correction concealer oh correction something three pigments anti-fatigue that was what I saw um, I think it is more of a highlighting one now I look at it oh look it's in English on the back how clever of me color correction anti-fatigue anti-redness anti-dark spots one two three perfect it's from bourgeois clearly I should have read it I just saw it as under eye concealer I'm gonna find out what it actually does I'll leave a link to it below so you can find out what it does too and then I got, um, it was buy one get one half price and I needed a new lipstick anyway so I got the Rouge edition, this is also, also from Bourgeois and it is number 17. summer um, I'm in my car again which is the tractor noise you can hear and I'm sporting this enormous beautiful zit on my face which is just great and I'm on my way to work anyway we had a really good summer um, and actually they didn't drive me insane for the first time I think they're just getting older now so it's it's just easier they still whined and bitched and had their little bitch fights like girls do but um, it wasn't too bad. I think just the last week we sort of everyone had had enough of being in each other's space 24-7. Um, but they've all gone back and they were all really pleased to go back. Um, 
Neves actually already texted me, my eldest, from her tutor group to say that she got all the best teachers this year. So I'm really pleased for her because, um, well, she's just going through that teenage girl phase and this is the first year that she gets to pick her subjects. So she's, her options are, she has to do like English, Math, Science um, and there's one other one. Oh, I can't remember, I'm not really clued up on the whole school thing here, but I know she's um, chosen double history and she chose philosophy and uh, PE, I think PE is a BTEC, so um, I'm pleased for her because she'll be doing subjects that she enjoys and I hope that she will improve her grades a little. And it always helps if you like the teacher, I think. I think the teachers play a big part actually in how well children can do at school. Well obviously they do. I mean I had a science teacher in high school and I hated her. I mean honestly she just used to pick on, she really did. I know everybody says, says that oh she picks on me that's why I'm so rubbish at my subject. Yeah um, but I think if you've got a teacher that um, you can sort of relate to and a teacher whose way of teaching you enjoy I think it makes a big difference on a kid. So oh, please praise God that she gets on with her teachers this year. Um, so yeah, I'm on my way to work for the first time with no children in six weeks, which excites me greatly. So I'm back from work and I'm just busy unpacking the girls book bags. I am such a school nerd. Please excuse all the mess on my table. Um, I'm just in love because I've got a lunch menu <laughs> and I've got this homework diary which I have to fill in all of these things. I basically just have to make sure that their uniform is correct and that um, help them set their goals. Um, fill out the things for their school trips and then it all gets put into their organizer and it's done for the whole year so yay I'm such a school nerd I love it so I just got back from work and oh my kitchen is such a mess this is how I left it this morning because we have to leave at five to eight so oh it's just like such a rush in the morning so I've just got back from work and I am about to start cooking dinner um, while well, I went to work and then I obviously fetched the girls and I had to run down to the co-op to post some stuff um, and yeah I've just emptied the bag and I'm going to quickly show you what I got at the co-op because these are a few of my favourite things. Um, I'm making tacos for dinner because we've had them once before and the girls love them and I actually forgot about putting them onto my meal plan so um, I had mince in the freezer and I thought hey ho I'm going to make tacos. So we're having that for dinner. Then I bought some coconut water. I saw on Claire from the Wit family. I'll leave the link to her channel below. Go and watch. She is awesome. She drinks a lot of coconut water, maybe coconut milk. Um, actually, I think this might be coconut milk. Yes, it is. It's not coconut water. Um, so I thought I'd try it because she did a whole video on being dairy free um, and helping with migraines and I thought that might be the answer because I know if I eat a lot of cheese I get like a super super bad headache so I thought that might help so I was just going to try for this week going on to something different then what else did I get oh, a loaf of bread that's pretty boring um, oh I went on a bit of a magazine splurge I love magazines, they're like my weakness. Please excuse my enormous sit, it's just growing bigger by the second. So I bought the Britain's number one craft seller magazine and I buy this every month with the best intentions that I'm going to sit and craft wonderful things and sell them all over the internet. And actually I might make that my mission this month to make, I say this, but I really wish I, I, I did make more effort to do it. Um, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, so my mission is to make something and for someone actually to buy it. So, um, I'm not super crafty, but I do enjoy doing crafty things. So I'm going to read that, and then... Oh, I did buy another one. I started my healthy eating kick again today. So, I didn't want the Slimming World magazine. I just, oh, I just feel like I'm pressured then to cook the recipes in there. And then I don't have the stuff, and I just feel like, oh, I haven't got the stuff, I'm just going to eat junk. 
So I bought it at the General Women's Health magazine. And I bought it because, um, well, number one, double your pay packet. Who doesn't want to do that? Lose your tongue. That was what drew me to the mag because, oh my god, from fat to flat in 10 minutes a day, it's got to be worth a try because my weight just sits around my stomach. It drives me mad. What else did I get? Oh, I just got some vegetables to go with the tacos tonight, some asparagus and stuff. And then I bought these. I'm just going to get them out of the box. So I bought these wine glasses and I bought them purely because of the shape. Look at them, they are beautiful. They're tulip wine glasses and they were five pounds for four. I know that's not as cheap as Asda, but they are quite like, I don't know what good quality they are. I mean, they're just glass, but they look quite thick and sturdy and we break wine glasses like you can't believe. Um, not from being inhebriated, whatever the word is, just because we're clumsy. So, um, and you have people over and things get broken. And so I think we've got two mismatching wine glasses left. So I needed these and I love them. Um, and that was it. That was my little mini co-op haul. That really bugs me when people do that. I don't know why I just did it to you. <laughs> Woohoo! So I'm drinking my tea with the coconut milk that I bought earlier today. Um, I can't remember if I... I did mention it in this vlog. Um, and actually it is delicious. It Can I get some action for my video? Just pie it. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps getting in her eyes. <laughs> me, that really... You can pie me now. That really hurt me. Go and pie her back. Go on. <laughs> you can't slap me right now. Move your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Can you slap me now? Can Saturday morning and Shanna made me breakfast. It's yogurt with blueberries and strawberries. Bless her little heart. You didn't make me breakfast. It's my bed. This is my bed. No, this is my bed. Oh, we don't need that right now. Teenagers. Don't you love them? This is my new hotel. That's I'm sending this, but Connie, you're in my in my mum's vlog. Say hi. <laughs>